Hello everyone, welcome to the video weekly newsletter. Today I want to talk about just a step, like an evolution of a step. You know, you hear me talk about frappe uh, almost all the time. I explain that mainly today we have two versions. One is, is heels above the ankle joint and we brush. We know this, we talk about this all the time. Yes, like this. The other is the type of frappe I do all the time, which is directly out from Sudo Kuti PA. We don't brush. The foot is pointed the whole time, right? We understand from Sudo Kuti PA directly out, right? That's a Russian way. This brushing, and we do that all the time. So it's preferred for the companies and, and, and let's say professional world, all of you see the company class people brush, right? So there's a third way, and I always talk about, I always talk about Vaganova style is a hybrid version. I always talk about this. Why I say it's a hybrid version? It has, the style itself, in my opinion, through my study, has a chicchetti Italian legs, very strong Italian chicchetti style legs, but have a French upper body. So there is a chicchetti version of a frappe. It goes like this. It has both. It's from the Soto Kuri Pie, but it comes down to the floor with demi relevé. You see me? Then from there, you brush and come back coming down to demi relevé, brush from there. Now, do you see the evolution from there? Do you see a Russian version is directly out instead of coming down through demi relevé and brush? So the, the Vaganova style, the syllabus, the training itself did not just borrow, just, did not just take it whatever is available to them. They took the information and created something that works for them. That's the beauty about the syllabus. The French beauty, the be beauty of the French, up, uh, the French upper body. The Russian portabra has a little bit more element of the strength and the power to it, right? That's overlay on top of the beauty, the detail, and the sweetness of the French port de bras, which is very beautiful, I love. But Russians has a, a little bit more of their own style on top of what they see in front of them, what they can just borrow it and it becomes their own. No, they integrate it into something that works for them. So this is something the, from the, 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 the evidence itself, from, Porto, from the little frappe, we see the evolution of the technique. So we, in my teacher training course, we, we can dig deep um, about those subjects. So it's like peeled onion. And one layer at a time, then you see why the step is this way. It's never random, there's always a history. There's always an origin. Uh, why things be done this way. It's not somebody said one day, somebody, one person decided it has to be done this way. I don't think so. The history, many generations of keep improving, finding better ways, better solution. So it's never just a one set of things never stops and never stop improving. It's always, it's a fluid from year to year. And it, that contains many people um, contribution and evolution, just like everything else. So I hope this dis discussion continues and um, we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.